Hi, I am Kyle Cordes at Oasis Digital. Here's a little bit of information about me. Uh, most importantly, I'm affiliated with Angular Bootcamp, which is our training class for Angular 1 and 2. Okay, imagine that you want to try out Angular 2, which we can read about right here, and you want to try it out using the shiny new Angular CLI. Now, if like me, you have a Mac, with a fairly standard software install on it, you should find this is a very quick and easy start. You run a few commands and you're up and running. But if instead you're operating on some sort of corporate computer, which is thoroughly locked down, where installing software is difficult, where you might conflict with an existing project, with an old version of Node, that sort of thing, then I can show you a much shorter, easier way just to get up and running and try it out. We're going to do so using Cloud9. Now Cloud9 is a, uh, a web-based IDE. We have no affiliation with this at all, other than we, that we are big fans of it and we have a few accounts on it. But uh, if you want to go try out Cloud9, you can do it right now. And you can do it using their free plan. It's plenty good enough for everything I'm going to show you. Now, here is my Cloud9 account. Let's get started on the install. I'm going to make a new workspace. I'm just going to name something like try ang CLI 7. Just making up a name that I'm sure I haven't used before. The only important thing to pick here is that it is a blank, choose the blank template because you don't want any of the stuff they supply. Now, I could make this public if I wanted other people to get into this workspace. I could use a lot of other features. None of those matter. So all I did was the bare minimum. I typed in a name and I clicked blank and I clicked create. Uh, right now, it is creating the workspace. This takes just a short time. I think behind the scenes, they're using some sort of container technology uh, to get this up and running quickly. I don't know if it's an entire VM they're creating for me or if it's just some sort of, uh, of, of Linux container, but it takes just a few minutes. If it takes very long, I'll, I'll cut to the end in the video. Okay, I didn't even have to cut. Here we are. Now, if you wanted to start from scratch here, just following these instructions, you'll find that they, unfortunately, as of July 1, 2016, they don't work. They require a newer version of Node than we have by default in Cloud9, and uh, you'll hit some little rough edges on the CLI. So instead, uh, we have made a very easy way to get started. You need this command. Now, you should be worried whenever anyone asks you to just uh, take something off the internet and source it into your, into your, uh, your script, or into your, uh, your terminal window. And so I do not recommend running this on your own computer. So it's a poor security practice to read things like this on the internet and paste them on your own computer. But what we're doing here is that we're not pasting them on our own computer. We're pasting them in this little throwaway Cloud9 demo instance. So I'm going to simply paste the command there. Right? So, or I could retype it and press enter. Now behind the scenes, it's doing a bunch of work. Maybe I'll scroll this up and we'll talk about it. It's using a thing called Node Version Manager to get the most current node, which we need to have a smooth, easy CLI experience. And then it's going to install the CLI, which is currently quite, quite a large program. It has hundreds of megabytes of dependencies. And so those are all all being loaded on this Cloud9 instance, so I'm, I'm not contaminating my local, local computer at all with any kind of local installs. Uh, this takes several minutes to run. I think I've timed it between five and 10, so I'm going to pause the video at this point and wait until it's done. Okay, we are back. It has been nine minutes since I paused recording, so all of that work that had to happen took quite a long time, but I have not run a single command or really even touched the computer in the time it took to do this. So I now have a fully up and running Cloud9 uh, Angular 2 Angular 2 ID or a CLI program. I can look at the files right in here. I can go in and edit the files here if I'd like. So I could go to this uh, generated component right here, app running on cloud nine works, so I could do that. I could save it. Uh, I could run ng serve exactly as I would locally. By the way, there is run one rough edge I'm gonna gloss over here. I'd have to do a couple of extra commands to make live reload work on cloud nine, but I just skipped those for simplicity by typing a single command. Now, if I wanna see how this program looks, I am going to click preview running application. Now. It's gonna to try to show me the application in here, and I actually think this is a bad design. So I'm instead gonna to, going to take this 
URL and I'm just going to bring it up and display it separately like this in a separate browser tab and now I have it and uh, because I brought it in a separate browser tab I now have the full tool set available you'll see this one error this is because live reload is not set up but again this can be made to work you just have to do a little bit more command line work that I'm skipping here so I elided nine minutes of waiting time but the actual clicking human operation time to get up and running with angular 2 CLI on Cloud9 is about two minutes of work, maybe. So thank you for watching, uh, and I'd love to hear about experiences of others out there using this tool set. Bye-bye.